What's up everyone, back with another video. So today, I'm gonna to be customizing a t-shirt, but instead of using paint, I'm going to be using just bleach. So obviously when the bleach goes on the fabric, it's going to turn the fabric a lighter color and you kind of get this cool effect where people can make this awesome work out of it. So that's my idea. And if I completely fail, then you'll never see this video. So if you're watching it, then obviously it turned out good, but you have to continue to watch it to see how it turns out. All right, so let's do it. Okay, so as you guys see, I finished my first bleach piece, which the art turned out exactly how I wanted. It turned out how I imagined it in my head before I even started doing this. Unfortunately though, I ran into a problem as I was put on the screen now, is that the bleach burned through the fabric and left some holes in the shirt, unfortunately. So. I mean, they're not too noticeable and they're pretty small, but there are quite a few of them. So I did end up reaching out to Devo Customs, who is the guy that I saw do this first and asked for some advice from him just to see if he'd ever had this problem before. And after talking to him, there's either a couple things that I did wrong. One, I probably, I might have left the bleach on for too long before I neutralized it. Uh, two, another possibility was that, um, I didn't have enough hydrogen peroxide mixed with the water to have a high enough concentration to neutralize the bleach when I did it. Or three, I didn't soak it in the hydrogen peroxide and water for long enough. So for the next time that we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna do more hydrogen peroxide and soak it for longer and we'll see how it goes. So let's try it out.
So I finished the second shirt. The, oops, this Kobe Bryant one. And a couple things I'm gonna say right away. I have not done realism or like realistic painting at all. It's not something that I've done at all. So this was completely new to me. But I don't think it turned out horrible. I think uh, there's definitely some things I can improve on, but that's why we practice. So the second thing, um, when I was doing this, it looked great. And then I went to go neutralize the bleach and it's hard to explain what happened. So I'll show some pictures, but it almost looked like it, the hydrogen peroxide got rid of the bleach. Like the parts that I had bleached had darkened back to the original color. It was very weird, very odd. I'm not for sure what I did. But after doing a third shirt, which was another Moon Knight shirt, so I didn't show it again, I think I figured out why that happened. And so when you're doing bleach t-shirts, the best thing is to have black t-shirts, obviously, and have them be 100% cotton. And while doing the third shirt on this material, I realized that it's not 100% cotton. It's 95% cotton and then 5% spandex. So I'm guessing that's probably why I had so much trouble. So the third shirt I'm not gonna show just cause it was the same thing and it's in the washing machine right now I'm getting washed for the first time so I don't have time to show you guys. But it just looks like the first one except for probably needs a few touch ups because it is on the wrong material. But this has been quite a learning experience. I hope that if you guys decide to do this you can learn from my mistakes because obviously I made quite a few in this video. But uh, learning new mediums it's all about trial and error and I mean now I know these things, so the next time I do painting with bleach, I'll do a lot better. But what do you think? Do you guys like this shirt more, or are you more of the Moon Knight shirt? Um, they definitely have some different aspects. I think I like both of them, but I want to know what you guys think. And if you guys do decide to try the bleach t-shirts, uh, send me some pictures, because I'd love to see them. Uh, my Instagram's in the bio. You can check me out on there. You see different pictures of the t-shirts and you see a lot more of my customs I do. So, all right, till next time, peace out.